My name is Mark Rasmussen. I'm president of the Buzzards Bay Coalition. And on behalf of all of our project partners, I have the wonderful pleasure to welcome you all today to celebrate a truly exciting partnership between conservation and affordable housing. So we have successfully protected here nine acres of land along the Weeantic River, including 1,300 feet of frontage. The existing trails make the land immediately accessible, and combined with other recently protected properties, including the 45-acre Westgate Conservation Area just downstream of here, the project contributes to a growing greenway corridor along the Weeantic River, which is open to the public and helps protect river water quality. When Larry and Joanne Walton first started the Wareham Area Committee for the Homeless, they never pictured that someday not only will they be able to provide food to the homeless, but shelter was a possibility. From our hearts, we wanted, both of us I, I can speak of, we wanted to see that people who had little and were struggling with life, first it was food, like at Good Shepherd, we uh, started with a pantry, but no, started with Good, Sup Good Shepherd's table. And, but it was feeding people one night a week and trying to coordinate churches. So we had dinners every night for people. Um, we began to see that homelessness was a real problem for everybody. Now, when you first started um, Turning Point, or before Turning Point became Turning Point, yes. when you were just serving th these meals for the homeless people, That's right. how many people were you serving? 40 or 50, maybe up to 100 when on heavy nights. They're serving many more now at food. They're serving 100 and then to the motels where there are some shelters sometimes for some people. They served 70 last night, actually. They sent out 70 dinners from Good Shepherd to uh, motels, as well as serving the people who were there. And I'm sure there were maybe 60 people there or, or more. The Wareham Area for the Homeless aided Turning Point in collaboration with Father Bills and Main Springs of Brockton to secure an apartment building using Wareham Community Preservation Funds. Um, when, you know, when I was first approached about this, this particular idea, uh, John came to see me and uh, it's just kind of, you know, bouncing things off uh, when, when the idea was in its infancy stage. And I just thought, this is, this is perfect. This is, this is perfect on so many levels. We had about 61 people use the winter shelter program run by the Wareham Interfaith Group, use the shelter this winter. We have seen that number continuously go up the past several years. There has been a tremendous group of people that have created a 10-year plan to end homelessness in the town of Wareham. And we are happy to say, and as a partner of that plan, that we are working the plan. And over the last three years, we've created 13 units of housing in the town of Wareham. But this is our first project congregate-based program that, that we, we have here. This is the solution, what you see right here. Not having people use shelters, not having people roam the community day to day without a home, but to have their own key and have their own place to rest their head. Here with our very capable partners, we've been able to save land and water that is important to our mission while simultaneously, for the first time ever, helping to expand housing opportunities for those in need in our community. This is the first time in our region, and actually we've been discussing, we think the first time in Massachusetts, that land and water conservation have been advanced simultaneously with affordable housing through the Community Preservation Program. From the start, the presence of this apartment building was going to be a difficult challenge if we looked at this just as a land conservation deal. <laughs> We considered all sorts of options, from tearing down the building to selling it off for private development. The connections that were forged with housing and homeless advocates in Wareham resulted in our introduction to John at Father Bill's. Their professionalism and practical approach to this project matched well with what we were trying to accomplish here and transformed an opportunity into a reality. This house located on Pumpkin Town Road, West Wareham, will provide permanent housing to five previously severely homeless individuals from Wareham. Thanks to the Waltons, Reggie Polino, a former homeless man in Wareham, is one of those five selected people who will be calling this apartment his home. Upon the visit, unfortunately, Reggie wasn't home but at the hospital. However, his girlfriend was able to give us a tour of the place. 
Do you know how long your boyfriend was homeless? He was homeless seven years. Seven years, right seven here in Wareham? Yep. And as an onset, he's been living in a tent. So when he got the call at the selection that he was going to be in this house, do you he know? He was excited. Excited? Yeah. Because wow. when he ended up getting sick, he thought he was going to lose his voucher. And it was like, he came home and Mike told Mike O'Neill said, you got your voucher, you got your home. He's like, you can pick up your key and move in. And I've been helping him say. Yes. And I'm like trying to get him unpacked, settled. That way when he gets back, everything will be ready for him. Do you know how he ended up becoming homeless? He was also a lot of okay. drinking, everything. Yeah. All right. So but when now he's sober, mm. so I'm happy. Yes, and this is his second chance. Yeah. For so the past three years, <laughs> This property and this house have been uh, an item on a real estate log or a warrant item at town meeting, but it's my privilege this morning to give it a much more human face. We would like to name this house the Larry and Joan Walton House. Fifteen years ago, in the hearts of Larry and Joan Walton, a dream came to life. The dream was that homelessness and near homeless people could have a chance to live in the safety and security of their own home. <coughs> the organization that the Waltons founded, Turning Point, in the Wareham Area Committee for the Homeless, has for the past 15 years striven to keep people in our community from losing their housing. More recently, in partnership with Father Bills and Mainspring, and with the generous support of many donors, we have been able to find permanent supportive housing for more and more chronically homeless men and women. The purchase of this apartment house is further evidence of the power of dreams to come true. I'm also involved with the Wareham Area Clergy Association's Knights of Hospitality Temporary Overnight Homeless Shelter. In the past nine winters, our churches have sheltered over 200 homeless people. Several of the tenants who will be moving into the Larry and Joan Walton house have been guests at the Knights of Hospitality. It's especially gratifying for me to see our friends move from an air mattress in a church basement to their own safe and secure apartment. I want to thank all the people that have been thanked again, but they deserve the, the, the additional recognition for the town of Wareham, the Buzzards Bay Coalition, Father Bills and Mainspring, the Wareham Land Trust, Mass Housing, on and on it goes. I thank you for making this dream come true. I wish that Larry and Joan were able to be here today. Larry passed away a few years ago, so he's present in spirit in this drawing done by his granddaughter Mercedes. She's being held in his arms as a, as a baby. Unfortunately, Joan, who is still alive and living in Florida, uh, wanted dearly to be here. Her daughter flew her up here, and then she had a stroke the night before last. Fortunately, it's a mild stroke. She's recovering at St. Luke's Hospital. But uh, she was just absolutely tickled pink uh, that what they started so long ago is being recognized here. So be praying for her. Her daughter, uh, Larry and Joan's daughter, Patricia McGarry, is here, though. And she would like to bring some greetings. McGarry, I want to say thank you to everybody. I work for uh, Governor Baker's Executive Branch of the Commonwealth, and I work for the taxpayers. I translate in Spanish, so um, I have an immigrant side as well as I guess I get that from John and Larry, but the homelessness side, which is true to my heart with Wareham, living here and having uh, worked on the Wareham Fire Department as an EMT and transporting the homeless people to uh, Toby Hospital. and and working at Knights of Hospitality as well at Church of Good Shepherd. So it all comes around. And my mother can't be here, but she did want me to say these are her words. And I wanted to say to everybody here who has been involved in making this happen for uh, to end homelessness, February 20th, 2003, Reverend Larry Walton and his wife Joan incorporated with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Wareham Area Committee for the Homeless. Funding and collaboration of many organizations, Mainspring, Father Bills, and numerous volunteers from the committee in the community from Buzzards Bay all the way through Middleborough and Wareham, 
have come together to end homelessness in our community of Wareham. Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 3, we are bound to thank God always for you brethren, assist as it is me that your faith groweth exceedingly and the charity of every one of you all toward each other aboundeth. And uh, verse 11, wherefore also we pray always for you that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasures of his goodness and the work of faith with power. And I thank you, God bless you all. It's a miracle that has taken a long time, 17 years if we started in 2000. And um, so it's taken the perseverance of a lot of folk that are here, not only those who planted the idea, but those who worked year by year, day by day, feeding and sheltering some people some nights at the church before this could come.